What's going on everybody? Today I want to show you a super beneficial feature that I have just discovered on the iPad. And it's not that I have just discovered it so much as that I just rediscovered the fact that you could do this. So in the iPad, there's a great feature that pretty much everyone knows about already, that when you are in an application, you can quickly swipe up from the bottom and bring up a second application into this second mode over here. You can have two things running at once. A little flick up like this, and you can quickly enable split screen mode and also a half and half mode. So you've got two applications running on both sides of your iPad. You've got one here, you've got one here. Super basic, super easy to do. All you do is summon them up from the dock and everybody kind of knows about that and how to do that. That's not what this video is about. I'm going to show you real quick how you can amazingly speed up your productivity on the iPad by opening up a second window in Safari. So you may not have known you could do this, and there's a lot of rumors that in iOS 13, you'll be able to open, say, two pages documents at the same time. Or, for example, you may be able to open up two versions of your Photos application or other applications in here. You can open two of them at the same time. Well, I'm going to show you how you can open up two Safaris at the same time and browse two different websites or drag and drop between multiple websites. There's a lot you can do here, and it'll probably benefit people out that are working on blogs, that are maybe doing a lot of social media things and need to quickly move things back and forth between browsers. So you open up the Safari page here, just like this. You've got your standard Safari page. And then all you have to do to grab a second copy of it, you open up another tab in the top corner and drag it down towards the center here. You just drag out whatever it is you wanna go full screen, drag it out. You'll see it makes this little box window here. Let go of it, and now you've got a nice line down the center of the screen, and you've duplicated the amount of things you can do. So on one half, I can be here on the Apple website, and on the other half, I'm still over here where I've been before. And I can also still have separate tabs here, so I can hop back and forth between tabs over here, and I can also have additional tabs on this side as well. So I've got two tabs open here on this side, and I've got quite a few tabs over here on the other side. So I can hop into a different web page if I'd like and pull up the Apple page over here. And now I can pop back and forth between these two windows. I can come back to my favorites. I can come back to Apple. I can have two fully open things, all full of tabs. I can quickly close anything that I'm not using anymore from here. I just swipe it away, just like you would normally. You can just close out of any of those tabs, and you can do the same thing over here. You have all your tabs, you can swipe them away. You can actually move them across from one side to the other. You saw what I just did there. You just simply grab the tab you wanna move and bounce it over to the other side, and you have it there on the other side of the screen. Super easy to go back and forth. You can move things around. Again, real simple, just grab it, Bam, right over there, and you've got it on the other side. Super easy. I just figured this might help a lot of people's productivity on their iPads. Unfortunately, you can only go in the 50-50 mode. There's no making one a quarter size, and the other take up three quarters of the screen. It's only in the 50-50 mode as of right now, but hopefully in the future they will fix this. But it's such a great and handy feature that I figured a lot of my subscriber base might find this to be super convenient and hopefully this will help you guys as well in boosting up your productivity, especially if you use your iPad Pro predominantly as your browser of choice, as I do. I use my iPad Pro as my laptop of choice. I do most of my editing on my iPad. I do most of my work on my iPad. I do most of my document work on my iPads, all of my Photoshop related stuff is done on the iPad. So the iPad has really almost completely replaced my computer and I just kind of thought, hey, maybe this would help other people get that one step closer to living that iPad Pro life. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.